Hello, I'm uh, Lauri Randla. I'm the writer director of Goodbye Soviet Union project. Uh, this project is based on my childhood experiences in the Soviet Union during the 1980s and 1990s, early 90s. And it's uh, a story of a boy who is very peculiar since birth. He uh, gets born and gets isolated inside an incubator without any human touch. And the only human touch he gets is another girl with whom he has to share an incubator with because the uh, well, Soviet Union has deficits of incubators. And the story of isolation, it continues throughout the uh, uh, movie. Um, after the incubator period, uh, Johannes, our main character, will gonna have to move to a secretive uh, Soviet town called Leningrad 3. It's a place where Soviet Union mines uranium for its nuclear program. And uh, it's a place where Johannes, our main character, is the only boy with hair, because due to background radiation, every other kid is bald. And his mother visits in this uh, isolated place every fortnight, so it's kind of a um, iron curtain within, within the iron curtain. Even when he gets out of that uh, peculiar town, he will still be isolated from his mother, as his mother is going to go to Finland, uh, which means that they will be separated with a real iron curtain. And uh, to overcome that period of loneliness and... Uh, well, our main character has missed his mother for 10 years. He will find himself a girl uh, that kind of replaces uh, mother's love. And the girl that he finds uh, in his life is the same girl he shared his incubator with. But I would like to present you also the soundtrack, which I think kind of gives you the feeling of the movie and uh, also the atmosphere. So this is the main score that I have uh, made uh, for this project. And it tells probably more than anything else. So here we go. attempting to do a basic Soviet movie which is gray and dull uh, I'm more looking of a colorful movie because I'm, it's a vision of the Soviet Union through the eyes of a 10 year old boy uh, and I don't remember my childhood of well it wasn't easy but it wasn't a, an unhappy time either uh, it was uh, it was a very important time for me and uh, I would like to present it in a colorful way with colorful pictures because Soviet Union was not a gray and dull place despite uh, all the uh, peculiarities of the system uh, humans were living there and they had the same feelings like every other Western person love and desires and uh, dreams and so forth and this is something that we tried to accomplish through this movie to show that world to show uh, how a boy who really doesn't have anything manages to get into the West at the end of the story, into this so-called Western paradise. 